has got to clone the CCU. This EDC 17 C 79. And there is new features on the DC 706. You can see after connecting now you can see um, the CX which means it might mean it means checksum or uh, they say check security so with this one I'm reading the EEPROM this is the original ECU so I'm reading the EEPROM down and also read the flash so that I'll be able to clone it so I'll save it so that I can know the exact ECU so now I'm going to read the flash the flash takes a long time to read and sometimes it takes forever so you can see i'm now reading the flash after bypassing the script and writing the bootloader so that i can read the flash so now the flash this flash has 32 sectors and it's going to read each sector so that's the same way it does when writing so during the writing process is also able to check some the two files the eprom and the flash um this function let me say multiproc does not do the checksum on this issue this is a botch issue multiproc does not do the checksum on it but with this one the this is seven uh, this is seven zero eight seven zero six does it and now most of them you can see it on it not all the ECUs but most of the ECUs have those things so it will connect to the server and check your file before allowing you to run but it gives you an option to skip it so with this one when you are doing it you can skip that function but normally uh, I will not trust the checksum that much but it, it works it has to check the file and make sure that's the right file that is writing so I'm now reading the sectors I'm now done I'm now reading 27 and it's left with some few more to go almost five sectors to go because I'm reading 32 sectors and each has its address so I'll wait for the machine to finish reading then I'll know what to do next because um, during the cloning process normally it depends if the issue you are reporting if you don't take care it might repeat itself in the clone issue so normally what I prefer is when I'm doing cloning for a client I have to know the actual problem if it is not software related because if it is software related issues it might end up affecting the other clone ECU so I'm almost done with the sectors and it's left with only two sectors for me to read then uh, I'll be done reading the file the flash file then save it and maybe I'll do another video when writing it so with this one I'm almost done with the reading of the sectors I really like the way OBD star is improving on their tool. They've added more ECUs because when I bought it, it was around 1030 ECUs that they can read, but now it's almost 1500 or 1600, and they are always improving and updating it to make it better. And that's a good chance of them. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. So with this one, I'm almost done and I'll let it finish and I'll save the file. So now it is done and I have to save the file or else I'll lose it when I go back. But it will remind you also if you've not saved the file yet to have saved it. And remember always to disconnect the tool after.